Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, soccer fans of all ages, welcome into Franklin High School for today's first round matchup of the MIAA South Sectional Girls Soccer Tournament between your Brockton Boxers and the Franklin Panthers. As always, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action high atop the field here in Franklin. This is a matchup of the 14 and 19 seeds. Brockton is the lower of the two. Brockton coming in at 3, 13 and 2, winning their division. So they get the automatic bid into the tournament. Franklin, the Panthers coming in as the 14th seed, 9, 7 and 2. They get in by virtue of winning half of their games or more. The preliminary round matchup, the winner of this game the honor and privilege of traveling down to Hingham, the 16-1-1 one one Shipman. Or on Sunday night, if it's Brockton, we'll have that game for you on Brockton Community Access. This game is happening concurrently with the Brockton High School football team's matchup in Marshfield. We'll have that one for you on Brockton Community Access 2 to do threat action. Like the postman Simmons is up there. Brockton wearing their away black jerseys, my favorite look of the boxers, with red and white trim. The Panthers, on the other hand, wearing their home whites with blue and black trim. This game's going to come down to goalkeeping. For Brockton, as has been a story all the season, Tori Viola Locker is going to decide this game for the Boxers. And it's Catherine Robbins, the senior on the other side of the turf. It's Franklin has a throw in deep, uh, it's a corner kick rather, deep in Boxer territory. Franklin, a top heavy team. 11 seniors listed on this roster. And Viola Lockery makes the save on this one. Janelle Davis chasing this one out of bounds. Panther throw in. Coming off a tough last couple of games. Draw against Derpy. And then it was that loss against Cardinal Spellman in the final regular season of the game. No, final regular season game, rather. Not the way the Boxers wanted to finish out their year. Brockton, and this team in particular, has been an underdog story. Because last year, the Boxers traveled down to Plymouth South in a preliminary round matchup, getting the win against those Panthers. And then traveling to Natick to face the top seeded Red Hawks. And the Red Hawks got a victory in that one. Heartbreaking loss for the Boxers, 1-0 the score in the playoff game to end the Boxers' season. The Red Hawks undefeated again. Here's an opportunity for Franklin. Number 15 is going to send it home. And Franklin's on top early. That was Miranda Smith, unassisted. Able to dance around Tory by a little off three. And the Panthers are on top, 1-0. Start here in this one. So it's one nothing. Panthers on top of the boxers. Short 
Five minutes into the first half. <laughs> David sending it out of play. Wet turf down there. Started to rain about an hour and a half ago down here in Franklin. And it's continued pretty consistently. Talk maybe this game could be postponed till tomorrow, but we might be able to get it in. Scattered showers up in Marshfield for a football game as well, so pretty much the whole state of Massachusetts to the same boat. Brockton with a very bright future, only five seniors graduating this year, but they include the senior captain, Janae Domanchi Silva, of course, has been out since earlier in the season when she broke her collarbone against Weymouth in a Game played in similar conditions to this one. And of course, the starting goaltender, Tori Viola Lottery, the only goalie listed on this roster. So Brockton is going to have a huge hole to fill in net next year. Hendrigan in the middle of the field. Franklin right back the other way. Franklin typically one of the best programs in the state. Find it odd that the Panthers have slipped to the number 14 seed. It's kind of the colors can't get the cross through, but it's going to be a corner kick for Brockton. Kayla Murphy is going to take this one for the boxers. Sending it in, and Franklin able to clear it out of harm's way. Back across the 50. in high sports. They're happening concurrently to this game. Football matchup in Marshfield as the boxers take on the Rams in the first game of the Weezers bracket. Tomorrow night it's the team that everyone's talking about, the Brockton High Boys soccer team. Going up against those Marshfield Rams at Marciano Stadium in their first round matchup. Uh, that game will play on uh, Monday evening at the Brockton will be at home. And we'll have it for you on BCA Sports. Anything can be called for an offside here. Remember that BCA is on Twitter. You can follow us at the Brockton Channel. Talk to us about anything sports related. 
Hashtag BCA Sports. Everybody, football, soccer, the pros, anything you want. Hit us up. David shot off. That was Carly Alston. This team very reminiscent of the team that defeated Brockton a few years ago in the first round of the MIAA playoffs. That team, the Brockton team led by Jen Caruso, who was playing with a broken wrist. At least half the roster was on that team two years ago, led by Orange Di Stefano, Molly Duncan, Captain Robbins. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my Stewart, who was taken down. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, he did start a race at like the cow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Game happening on November 3rd, <laughs> late in the year. <laughs> and we're at the scenic field on the campus of Franklin High School. Panthers with the free kick here, dangerous territory, about 30 yards out from that. Duncan is going to take this one, the senior co-captain. Short chip shot, trying to force it into the leg. Addy. Addy sends it over the top of the net. Play. to go here in the first half. one nothing Panthers on top of the boxers. Brockton no shots thus far. Playing midfield for the first time this year. Yeah, exactly. Now the only freshman listed on this roster is Marion. It's Dennis and Dos Agnes was removed a few games ago in the middle of last week. Situation that did not involve school. Yet again, this is number 13. Her chip oh. shot will go wide. Oh. Masters shot for the Panthers. Murphy fighting off for the midfielder, but number 17 for the Panthers comes their way with the ball, Maddie Stewart. Yeah. 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 
It's Denise Glennon making the stop on the sidelines. Nothing Panthers, 15 minutes into the first half. The Panthers unable to prevent it from going over the end line. kick for Brockton from about 35 yards out from that. <laughs> that was your low kick that ping pongs off of Tyler Colors and out of play. It's going to be a corner kick for the boxers. You can see wind starting to pick up Blowing the flags over. Murphy's corner kick loose in the box. And Franklin's able to clear out. Fighting for it on the far side. Another corner kick for Kayla Murphy and the boxers. Franklin on the run, it's number 19. Just Crusoe. Crusoe taken down by Denard Davidson. We're going to have a whistle from about 50 yards away. Denard Davidson is going to get a talking to from the official. <laughs> Long drawn out explanation here from the official. As Danelle Davids trying to plead her case. Two men wall, it is Olivia Shaw, Leonard Marion, and now Jayla Curtis Stewart joining it. Free kick taken by Molly Duncan. Duncan high and away. Not able to escape immediate danger, but Franklin threatening already. Goal kick for Brocken. I 
His first shot goes wide. Down offensively quite a bit. Franklin scoring uh, seven minutes into the first half has been quiet since then. The winner of this game faces off in Hingham. Hingham on Sunday night. It is Brockton will have it for you on Brockton Community Access. the Panthers. So been overpowering Brock into this point. Great job, boys! Dedicated fan base out here for the Panthers. Where you go, Chad? Good work, girl! Even in the rain, the Panther faithful come out to support their team. Just out of the reach. Nice talk, Molly Duncan. Oh yeah! Duncan playing with fire again. This is going to be a shot off of the road. Don't fire the Baltus, the sophomore, puts the Panthers up 2 nothing over Brockton. Two nothing Panthers. About halfway into this first half, in the first round. In the preliminary matchup, rather, of the MIAA South Sectional Tournament. Brockton's got to get one quick here to get their hits back in the game and stop the bleeding. I 
getting early in this one. Diving on top of this one. Oh, oh, sending it low, looking up for Henry to too far. And Robbins has her first touch of the game. Deflecting to Karen Stewart. Stewart taken down, and that's going to draw a dangerous play against the Panthers. About 20 yards off from net, dangerous territory. Murphy with the shot direct down. Robinson shoots the save. a scoring opportunity.
Goal kick for Robbins and the Panthers. Failure goes down. She's holding her stomach. And shaking off the right wrist. She gets up in a little bit of pain. comes back out. Franklin is going to wind up with a free kick out of the deal. Now, Davids has to chase this one down. Sending it out of bounds. Been an interesting sports week. Some Patriots on a bye this week. Lack of action trading Jimmy Garoppolo to the San Francisco 49ers. One quarterback on their roster for two and a half days. And then Brian Hoyer rejoining the Patriots on a three year contract. Join Tom Brady. Injury news, Deshaun Watson, quarterback of the Houston Texans. The feel-good story of the year, the rookie. One of the top quarterbacks in the league is, here we go again, a shot and a goal. Number 22, netting this one. And of course, is Sydney St. Marie, the freshman. Franklin's up 3-0 over the Brockton Boxers, and Brockton is going to take a timeout. So just under 10 minutes left in the first half. It's 3-0 Franklin on top of Brockton. We're going to step aside and take a quick break and bring you the remainder of the first half right after this. 
Hello and welcome back into Franklin High School where the Panthers are taking it to the Boxers. Three to nothing the score. Brockton calling their timeout after the latest Franklin goal. The three goal scorers. The latest is Sydney St. Marie. And Anna Balkis and Molly Duncan. The other two goal scorers for the Panthers. Brockton has been held scoreless and with only one shot on net. As Brockton is now going to be called for a handball. Brockton needs to answer and do something going into halftime here. Franklin's going to have a free kick from the 35 yard line of the football markings. Franklin's in again, and it's going to be Russell off sides. Olivia Mathelier sending this one back north of midfield. Kayla Murphy shifting to midfielder. Now crossing, this one's easily saved. Catherine Robbins. Robbins hasn't been tested often in this one, only with two Brockton shots on net. Now we have a Panther down in midfield. Danielle David's the offending boxer, so it'll be a free kick from the 49 yard line. Deflected and another opportunity for the Panthers. Shot blocked away by Alicia Talkman back deep. Throw in for the Panthers. Not much time here left in the first half, maybe above five minutes. It's Murphy sending it back across midfield. No boxer in the area. Franklin able to keep it in. Number 13 doing some good work on the sideline. And that is Corinne Lewis. And now Franklin. Yet another opportunity. Number 10 playing with the wrist brace on. And it is Emily Mastai. Franklin, relentless pressure in the first half of this one as Robin sends it back well north of midfield, all the way to the 40 yard line of Brockton. had a spectacular season net for the boxers has continued that effort here tonight three goals against but not for lack of effort for the boxer goalkeeper will be another Franklin goal kick a free kick rather from just inside your own midfield. Yeah. 
I don't know. So I'm telling them that they're going to have their time to take a shift. I wonder what one's going to be. Battles. Two boxers and Panthers squaring off at midfield. Boxing coming away with it. Run a Marion. Bad first touch. It's Chrome Stewart up to Marion. Marion back heel self pass. She oversteps it a little bit. Davids was shifted from stay at home defense to back mid. Talkman is gone from forward to midfield. Franklin still overmatching the boxers in this one. Three nothing, not much time here left in the first half. Marion racing for it. She's scrubbed off by the Panthers. Another opportunity for Franklin, and this one's going to be picked up by Vinyl Lawson. No opportunity, it's number 10 for the Panthers, her cross is going to be knocked out by Jayla Smith. Not much time here, under 30 seconds to go. Three nothing, Panthers on top of the boxers in the first round of the MIAA sub-sectional playoffs. The 14 seed Panthers, the 19 seed boxers. Franklin has complete control of this one. Holding on, she sends it back towards midfield. <laughs> this is for the first half is coming to an end. The score of the Franklin Panthers lead will block the boxers three to nothing. Brockton has got to get something going offensively in this one. 3-0 at halftime, Franklin over Brock, and we're going to step aside and take a short break and bring you second half action after this. Green hat. Red hat. Oops. <laughs> Red shirt. Blue shirt. Yellow shirt. Oops. <laughs> Pants, 
Good morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. That's a major key. Another one. Another. Mogul talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused. Fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise. Louise. Can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. Get caught buzz driving, and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Here's your check. Oh, you, you got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, soccer fans of all ages, welcome back into Franklin High School for second half action between your Brockton Boxers and the Franklin Panthers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action high atop the turf here at Franklin High School in this preliminary round matchup between the Panthers and the Boxers. The score is three to nothing. Franklin is leading the first half goals. Sydney St. Marie and a Balkis. Molly Duncan in no particular order. And the story of the night has been Brockton's offensive breakdown. They've only got two shots on net to this point, both of which have been easily saved by Catherine Robbins, the senior captain. Tori Viola Lothry, regardless of the score, has had a good game in net so far. Numerous saves of the potent Franklin Panthers offense. It was this same Franklin team and their 11 seniors that knocked the boxers out of playoff contention a few years ago in Jen Caruso's senior campaign at Brockton High. Franklin wearing their home white jerseys, blue and black trim. The boxers wearing their away black jerseys with red and white trim. Busy weekend for BCA Sports. Concurrently to this game, in Marshfield is Mike the Postman Simmons. It's a boxer football matchup against the Marshfield Rams. Tomorrow night at Marciano Stadium is the most anticipated matchup of the postseason. Franklin has another opportunity. This is number 21 streaking in. Her shot is going to be saved and punched out by Tony Barlow Offrey. And it'll be a corner kick for the Panthers. Tomorrow night at Marciano Stadium, the boys' soccer team gets their postseason campaign underway. As they take on the Marshfield Rams at Marciano Stadium. The winner of that.
that game facing either Natick or King Philip on Monday night if it's Brockton. It'll be at home. It'll be at Marciano Stadium, and we will have it for you on Brockton Community Access. And the winner of this game will go on to face Hingham at Hingham on Sunday night if it's the Boxers. We'll be there for you if it's Franklin. We'll have the night off. Only five seniors listed on this Brockton Boxers roster. However, that does include their goaltender, Tori Viola Lothery. The football team in Marshfield right now is engaged in a shootout. That game was 22-22 at halftime. Crazy ending to the first half. Brockton throwing a 55-yard touchdown pass. From Jose Montero Jr. to Jalen Ellerby Cundiff, a couple of seniors on that team. And the Rams answering almost immediately. They scored that touchdown with 6.9 seconds to go in the first half. The ensuing kickoff, Brandon Ward of the Rams took it 75 yards to the house. And converting on a two point attempt for the Rams. And it's all tied up at 22 going into halftime. Oh, Carly, Corner kick for the Rams. You can see the wind and the rain picking up here. The wind's so strong it's knocked over all of the corner poles and the flags. Franklin still leading three to nothing over the Brockton Boxers who have sputtered on offense here tonight. Bella Lothry makes another save. Brockton entering this postseason as the 19th and last seed in the MIAA South Sectional D1 Tournament. Coming in at 3, 13, and 2. Panthers, 7-5, 5, 9-7-2, excuse me, for the Panthers. Fourteen seed going against the 19 in a preliminary round matchup. The other teams in this bracket, in the bottom right of the MIAA South section, Whitman Hanson goes against Weymouth on Sunday night. Again, the winner of this game will go on to face Hingham same time. The undefeated 16-0 Natick Redhawks, top seeded on the other end of the bracket. No face off for this. The winner of Braintree and Walpole is 16 and 17 seeds. Newton South 17-1-0. Hingham on our side 16-1-1. Bridgewater Raynham, 15 1 and 1. Cancellation somewhere in there. Going for Talkman to Cohen Stewart. Oh. 
Stone's going to trickle out of bounds just out of reach of Emily Mastai, senior midfielder. I said it in the song. That's number seven in alone for the Panthers. Her cross is just out of the reach, but a comeback attempt. The one time shot is over the top of the net. Duncan setting that one up. The cross initially intended for Miranda Smith. Just crucial. Was there on the other end? So it's the Panthers three, the Brockton boxers nothing. In the preliminary round of the MIW South Sectional playoffs. And offsides against the Panthers. I think it was their Game going up against Hingham. Nothing changes, it'll be the Franklin Panthers. As Talkman clears this one out. Front, Franklin with it. The Panthers launch a shot, it's going to go wide. Brockton. Brockton thrown from midfield. This one all the way through. Robbins is going to pick it up. Twelve minutes into the first half, uh, second half, excuse me. Three nothing Panthers. Franklin has been dominant, and here's a shot and a save by Viola Lawford. She had to go down to her knees for that one. Story all year for Brockton has been the dominance of Viola Lawford, and we have a collision of two Franklin Panthers just inside midfield. Injured Panther is number seven, Molly Duncan, the senior co-captain. She gets up. I believe she's going to have to come off the field for at least a play as the clock has stopped due to her injury, and she does. Free kick for the Panthers from the 42-yard line of football markings, right between the hash marks. <laughs> Hendrigan stepping around this one now, heading it up, looking for... 
boxers forwards who are nowhere to be found. Brockton, you can tell, really missing the 30 goal scored Gabriela Del Pico. Everybody knows she was awarded a scholarship at Harvard University. And they told her you have to play for a team called Developmental Academy, a club team. Follow their rules and regulations, and one of those is you can't play for public school. Very wisely choosing the future over her high school. Brockton will be missing her for the next two years of her eligibility. Would have been a junior this year, or is a junior this year. It's a big holes up front for the boxers. So they not only lost Gabby this season, but also her sister Maria Del Pico. Kayla Murphy has shifted from pure forward to midfield. Losing the scoring touch of Vanessa Dos Anjos towards the end of the season. Yeah, that was with another save. Brockton's three wins this year coming against the big three. Two wins against New Bedford, one against the Durfee Hilltoppers, drawing Durfee for a share of the big three divisional title. Jill Smith has been strong for the Fox's defense tonight. I've seen her play a few different positions, including front mid. As Franklin has another opportunity. Cutting off Jayla Smith was number 22, Sydney St. Marie, the last goal scorer for the Panthers. and Bella Lothry picking it off. She is collided into by St. Marie. Trying to get over. Yeah. St. Marie again. She can't get a shot off to know David's 
breaking y'all up. Whistles blow as we have another collision, 21 minutes to go. In the second half, 3 nothing. Franklin on top of Brockton. Deflected out. Goal kick for Panthers. Sending this one back towards midfield and dangerous play against Jayla Curran Stewart. I disagree with the refs on that one. Free kick for number 26, Kaylin Frangillo, directly on Barrow Lothry. She makes the save. This one's loose. Good job, Julia. Um, Colors can't get to it, but Robbins is down. Catherine Robbins, the senior goalie, is visibly hurt. But walking under her own power. Robbins looks like she's okay. Gonna stay in the game. Corner kick for the boxes is popped up high into the box. It falls loose. I like against Brockton. Halfway through the second half, as Kern Stewart goes down, no call. Franklin in again, it's four on three up turf. Excellent bump for Jayla Smith on number 20, Aaron Quayle. And shielding out of bounds, it will be a throw in for the Panthers. I 
This one loosened, though. Lafley is going to dive on it. Brockton's had some decent chances here in the second half. None have gotten past Catherine Robbins. kick for Brockton here. Murphy's low kick curved in towards net, cleared out. Tottman fired off a shot that was blocked away by the defense of the Panthers. Now a long shot is going to be offsides against Brockton. much time here left but about 13 minutes and what quite possibly is going to be the last game of the boxer season unable to get anything going offensively but with this team you never say never we've seen comebacks before Stoppage. It's going to be a penalty shot for the boxers? It is. It's going to be a penalty shot for Brockton. Madison Hendrigan to take it for the boxers. Trying to get on the board. It's Hendrigan and the senior goalkeeper, Catherine Robbins, one on one. Hendrigan trying to get the boxers on the board here in the playoffs. Her shot, and it's a goal. She completely fooled Robbins going the other way. Robbins went right, Hendrigan went left, and Brockton's on the board. 4-1 late in this one. Pretty sure I had all the numbers. 
Get some jello shots. We got a new star. That or whatever it is. We're riding. Penalty kick. Yes. I got him. I was like. We need him offside. We got to find offside. Three's even here. Well, I've been. I was there on the first half. Oh, yeah. I got to listen in. Emily, I'm like, <laughs> shoot the damn head? ball over here! Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, re kicks you. I'm like, hey. oh my god, I gotta relax. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's nice and hinting in on the penalty shot, the first boxer's goal of the playoffs. <laughs> Now trailed by three, it's 4 1, and we're going to have a dangerous play against Brockton. Picks this one up. Brockton with a little bit of momentum after Franklin scored four unanswered goals. Brockton finally coming with a tally of their own, a penalty shot for Madison Henry. Beautifully placed kick. Low right hand side of the goal. Catherine Robbins point. Left it. He's down, certainly not out. About ten minutes to go here in the second half. From the end line for Brockton. If you offer now to take a push, here we go. I bet you agree. <laughs> would like to wish a happy birthday to member of my family. He turns <clears throat> 28 yesterday. It's none other than Bradley Nelson. Older brother to myself, the Mad Dog. That's so funny. We were just having a So happy birthday. She said to me, you're cold. I'm like, you just can't. Do you know what I mean? I tried for a while. I'm like, oh, that's too bad. Well, I said her last it's 4 1 Franklin on top. Not much time left in this one. The Panthers have dominated the boxers in all facets. And a girl cat. Brockton's offense has sputtered almost to a complete standstill in this one. 
Franklin has capitalized on that on the other end. Football game has I know it is. I just think it's stupid. Gotten interesting. It's 29 22. Brockton on top. Marshfield has the ball. Sent in on Robbins. She picks it up. 7 15 to go. 4 1. Bucks is trailing the Panthers. What has been a rough first round or preliminary uh, matchup for Brockton? Cameraman for today's festivities. One and the only the prolific cinematographer. Aaron Tebow braving the winds in the cold. The trip up 495. Oh, that would have been beautiful. For Brockton, not much time here, about five minutes left. Franklin still on top, 4 1. Talkman sending it all the way back to by Roth, where he sends it. Back north. This is blow, another dangerous play, and another free kick. Watching an opportunity here. The bodies hit the turf. And you're brought in throwing. The winner of this game on Sunday night will travel to Hingham.
Tomorrow night, it's the Brockton boys soccer team at home against the Marshfield Rams. We'll have it for you on Brockton Community Access. Should the boys win, they'll play Monday night at home, either against King Philip or Natick. And here's an opportunity to know David's all the way up. Clearing it out. Brockton finishing the season 15-1 and 2. Only lost in the last game of the year at New Bedford. 2-1 loss. Where to go, great game is David Sitz. It's David Sup looking for Marion and colors on the far side doesn't connect. Franklin clears it out. Panthers on top. Boxers. She's pushed, and it's going to be a free kick for the boxers about 30 yards out from net. It's going to be Talkman taking the kick. Loose in the shot, and a goal for Kyla Colors. Four to two and never say die for the Brockton Boxers. It is Kyla Colors, the second goal scorer, joining Madison Hendry, who scored just a few moments ago on a penalty shot. after starting this game with no offense at all has come back to score two goals in about five minutes. Next time will be Orange Crush. Talkman defending this one out of play. It'll be a throw in for the Panthers. I said, I said, Not much time here left. Right. 
Whistles blow, this one's over, and Brockton's season has come to an end. The Boxers falling to the Franklin Panthers, a score of 4-2 to two in the preliminary round. The MIAA South Sectional Tournament, the Franklin Panthers move on to face the number three seeded Hingham team in Hingham on Sunday night, and the Boxers, well, their season's over. Again, the final score, 4-2, the Brockton Boxers falling to the number 14 seeded Franklin Panthers and the Boxers season. For everyone here at BCA Sports, our cameraman Aaron Tebow, Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next season.